Hey, welcome back, you guys. So, as I said, I'm trying to do videos around five times a week over the summer. And for these two videos, I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw another Spider-Man. So, I'm just going to be doing the pencils right here. It's just a really light pencil outline. And then, in the video after that, I'm going to color it with warm gray Copics and I believe neutral gray Copics. And then I'm going to ink it too. So... Uh, this is just going to be a really quick video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So right now, I'm going to start out drawing in the basic forms. So these are all shapes to give me an idea of where everything is. So the head is just like a circle, and then I'm drawing in the chin. All these basic forms will kind of show me where to lay the muscles on top of later. And... I'm doing it extremely lightly, not focusing on any details right now. That's going to come in the next step. So I drew in a curved line to know where the eyes are, and I'm drawing in the neck and torso right now. And notice how the neck's a little bit curved. So what I'm going to do next is kind of draw in a few lines for the muscles just to kind of know where they are and toss in a few circles for the shoulders so that's about it and i will um add details later so real quick before i move on i'll show you guys each of the parts i did right here i have the head which is pretty much a circle and then a little point coming out of it that's going to be the head. And for the neck, I just drew this tube down here and connected it with a circle. So this right here is like a cylinder, just like that. So I kind of just simplified it like that. So that's the neck right there. And what these two lines in this circle indicate, um, it's actually very useful to draw these in because they're those are representations of the muscles so these are two of the major muscles and then this is the I think it's like the Adam's apple or whatever so that's in and then that's pretty much a simplified version for anatomy and that's just to place it in and they both come down over here and for the collarbone I just drew in this quick um, angular thing to represent it and then the whole torso I just have a big circle and a quick representation of the shoulder is just gonna be another circle so all right I'm gonna lighten it up with my kneaded eraser and I'll tighten up the lines a little bit now I'm gonna go in with my kneaded eraser and kind of lighten up the lines here's where I start to get a few of the lines for the final image However, for this piece, um, these are still kind of basic sketchy lines because I'm going to go in near the end and I'm going to go over with Copics and then the final lines will actually just be inks. So I'm kind of skipping a step here, but uh, that, that's because I'm trying to show you guys quickly what I'm trying to do. So now you can see there's more form for the muscle and I'm not... Um, being as sketchy as before and tightening my lines up a little bit. So there's the shoulder right there and I think I'm gonna start drawing in the Spider-Man logo soon. So everything's still like a placeholder so I kind of know what to put down when I'm on my final inks but these are not the final ones and I'm still gonna make adjustments later. So there are the eyes, I'm kind of just roughing them in, and I think the head's slightly tilted upwards, so the eyes are going to be close to the top of his head, rather than like right in the middle. And you can see how his collarbone's starting to have more of a curve to it, since that's what the actual bone looks like. And I believe I'm going in right now to draw Spider-Man's logo. I am not using any reference for this logo, so I am not exactly sure how it's supposed to look, so that's kind of just another placeholder, so I know 
how to draw it later. And I'm actually not going to add any of the webbing in for his costume yet, since I will be doing all of that in ink. And yeah, that's about it. Okay, so for those of you that didn't quite catch that, I'll kind of do a simplified version here. So what I started with was a circle, pretty much, and then I just added the chin like that. So that's pretty much the head of Spider-Man. Pretty simple, just the circle and the chin. And to add the neck, I just extended this out. And since this is just the light pencils, I can draw in the neck all the way. So this place is where the neck connects to the torso and for the torso I just did something like that sorry not sure if you guys could see that okay so just like that there's a shoulder right here that might have been a little too close but there's shoulder there's another shoulder and there's the collarbone so that's the upper body of Spider-Man and Let me get a darker marker real quick uh, Maybe I can Hang on, I'm not sure what my darker marker is right now. Give me a sec uh, Let's see Where is it? Here, here. I'll use I think I'll just use a micron pen for a demonstration. So that's the head right there. Because it's kind of scribbly, so it's hard to see. That's the head. And then the neck is just like that. And then Adam's apple. And then the two muscles right there. You've got the collarbone. Then the neck connects to the shoulders like this. So it's like two little triangles like that. And then I'm drawing the shoulders over there. Pretty much just like that. So that's like the simplified version of Spider-Man. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to keep going now. So here you can see I slightly tightened up the lines a bit. I have the um, Spider-Man logo drawn in. This is still really rough. It's just to kind of know the placement. Um, these muscles right here, I actually drew them in. Um, I adjusted the collarbone a little bit, so it's slightly more bent and in like the slightest S shape. Um, over here you can see where the shoulder connects, right here. Um, I kind of uh, drew in some of the parts of the face and Obviously, there are the eyes for Spider-Man, and yeah. In the next video, I'll actually be doing the um, coloring with Copics and inking, so just stay tuned for that. It'll be coming real soon. Thanks for watching.